What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about the Nintendo Switch. Something that has me really, really excited. I can't state that enough. I'm super duper excited about the Nintendo Switch. What I saw in the reveal has me hyped. The quality of gameplay has me hyped. The ability to play co-op has me hyped. The awesome addition of not having to buy a secondary controller and just handing half of the console over to a friend and being able to play stuff like Mario Kart is really, really engaging and awesome. Also, as someone who's always really been into the portable gaming scene, one thing I've always dreamt of is console quality gaming on the go. The PlayStation Vita did get really, really close, but it was a miss. There was something that didn't translate well into the controls, and the games didn't stand up exactly to their PlayStation 3 counterparts. All that is removed with the Nintendo Switch. The console quality game that you play on your big screen is going to be identical to what you play on the go. And to me, that's super duper exciting. Now, in this news, one of the biggest publishers in the world of video games is looking into possibly porting some of its older games to the Nintendo Switch. And to me, this is exciting as news. I'll drop a link in the description. Capcom is actively exploring Nintendo Switch porting possibilities. Global publisher Capcom is exploring the possibility of porting its recent PS4 and Xbox One releases to the Nintendo Switch, potentially giving Nintendo's upcoming console a major boost in third-party support. Capcom outlined its plan to investigate the feasibility of Nintendo Switch ports as part of its financial statement for the second quarter of 2016 fiscal year, noting that, quote, We are currently carrying out research with regards to multi-platform implementation of software for PS4 and Xbox One onto the Nintendo Switch, end quote. Capcom did not announce which titles it specifically has in mind for its Nintendo adaptations, emphasizing that it will not begin the porting process until it has a firm grasp on, quote, the desired direction and the playstyle of the Nintendo Switch, end quote. The company's forward-looking statements anticipate a distinct difference in audience and market focus between the Nintendo Switch and current generation consoles like the PS4 and Xbox One. Quote, We do feel that there are differences in the desired direction and the playstyle of the Nintendo Switch and those of the PS4 and Xbox One. At Capcom, we determine which platform to release a title for after considering the features of both our software and the hardware in question, believing we must bring the enjoyment of our games to the maximum potential, end quote. The statement continues, quote, As a software developer, we endeavor to develop games that offer enjoyment best suited to each piece of hardware's features and target users. Following first party, in order to introduce our own content, we are currently moving forward with internal planning and analysis as a partner company, end quote. A widespread porting initiative could mark the Nintendo Switch's debut of popular Capcom franchises like Resident Evil, Monster Hunter, and Dead Rising. Monster Hunter, in particular, is a key franchise for Capcom in Japan. While the Resident Evil series remains consistently popular worldwide thanks to frequent remakes and ports, the next entry in the series is Resident Evil 7 and is due out on PS4 and Xbox One on January 24, 2017. Nintendo will reveal further details regarding the Nintendo Switch's hardware and pricing strategy in January. The console will launch worldwide in March 2017. This is excellent, excellent news. Okay, so we know that Capcom is working hard to port PS4 and Xbox One games to the Nintendo Switch. This means a couple of things. First of all, the Xbox One and PS4 are graphically supposedly far superior to the Nintendo Switch. This means that either they're going to be ports that are dumbed down to look significantly weaker on the Switch, or the Switch's GPU is more powerful than originally speculated. I hope that it's the latter. This also means that we're going to have console quality Capcom games on the go and I'm also excited to see what they're going to do with games like Monster Hunter and some of their more portable franchises. This is damn good news for Nintendo because Nintendo needs as many third parties as they can muster to get behind the Nintendo Switch and move those units. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Which Capcom game would you like to see most on your Nintendo Switch? Anything besides Street Fighter V. That's not ever going to happen because that game was made actually with Sony in partnership. But there's tons of other Capcom games. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and support the channel by going to BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.